Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. In this video, we're looking at the Hike Vision IP intercom. We're looking at how you set up a, a multi tenant uh, IP video intercom. Uh, in my example, it's one door station calling two handsets using the um, key tag module. The connections, it's all PoE, back to a switch. I'm using two different handsets. One's um, the TE1 and one is a WTE1. I'm not using the Wi-Fi adapter in my example. So with everything connected up and plugged in, we can go to IVMS. In previous videos, link at the top there, I've shown you how to use IV, uh, how to use SADP and IVMS and how to add devices to the client. So with the devices added, we're just going to click on config. We're going to go to the door station first of all. And then in that tag, we click on intercom, go to session settings and just confirm the um, password we set for the device. If you remember, I always advise set your devices to the same password. So set the type in the password, click save. That's the handset, the door station done. Let's go to handset one. At the bottom there on handset one, um, we have the network setting. So we can click on network. And at the bottom of that list, um, group network settings. And you can see we got the list of the configuration. First of all, we need to confirm the password for the door station. So if you set them all to the same password, it doesn't matter, it's that password. Um, we then need to confirm the IP address of the door station that's calling it, the master door station, the main door station. So if we look in IVMS, we can see that the IP address of the door station is this address here. Um, with a call on the port. We don't need to worry about the port, we just need that address. So let's take a note of that address, type it in this field here for the main door station. You can see I've already done that. With that all done, click save. At the bottom there, save's confirmed. And then we do the same again for door two. Go to configuration, sorry, for handset two. The only difference this time is now we're calling um, room two. So in the room numbers at the bottom there, we highlight one just and change it to two. So this is room two now. So when you press the button two, it calls room two. Um, confirm your password again. IP address previous as be before. It's the same. Make sure it's the same. Mine's already configured. Um, click save at the bottom there. Confirm. That's the handsets configured. So what we have to do now is go back into the um, the door station menu. Click on intercom again, and this time it's the call button settings. Where is it? Call button settings. And in the call button settings, you can see we have the main module, but we're not doing that. We're doing the sub module. So I'll click on sub module. And because it's six buttons, you've got six fields you can change. So I'm going to change button one from calling um, handset two to, to one, and button two from calling handset two to, to handset three, um, to room three. Uh, sorry, to room two. So buttons one, uh, what are in order uh, two and three are actually now one and two. Um, it just calls the room numbers, basically. Click save. And there we go. So now let's um, bring up the door station, give it a test. Press button one on the call module. It calls handset one. There's a video. Close that. And then we can go to go back and this time press button two on the call module. Call handset two. Accept the call and reject. And there we go. That's the setup of a, a multi tenant Higvision IP video intercom. Install to rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. 
All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.